Leslie went to the store to get some groceries and stuff and she just called me and said that she's been in an accident. She's fine, but the truck, not so much. Um, she got rear-ended by a guy in a Jeep, older guy in a Jeep, and I don't know if he didn't see her or what's going on. Uh, we'll get her story when, when she gets here. I'm just, um, I'm concerned we're supposed to be moving in like three days from now. And uh, so when she gets back, I'll have to, uh, she said it's drivable. I'll have to check and see and make sure everything's safe to, to tow. Uh, if not, we'll have to figure it out. But um, I'm just glad Leslie's okay. And um, man, stuff like this is always a bummer when it happens. Well, Leslie just got back. She doesn't look pleased. What happened, man? I got rear-ended. It's all fun and games till you get rear ended. It's all fun and games till you get rear ended. But he didn't hit me once. He hit me twice. <laughs> he, he did a little double tap. <laughs> Let's roll the replay. <laughs> Oh man, it's he a doozy. Me, he got me good. Yeah. Wow. So crumpled the bumper there. Got the uh, uh. Yeah, man. It pushed everything up. Pushed everything up into here. Yes. And when unfortunately that means. This is as far as it goes. Well, that's no good. And we move in two days. We're either gonna have to, well, there's a couple options here. We have options. So either we're gonna have to lift the RV high enough to where it clears the tailgate, and then go back down and then hook up. Yes. Or remove the tailgate. Yes. Or, or remove, remove the bumper. bumper. And the adjuster can't even call us till Monday. And we leave. Monday. This would happen on a Friday afternoon. Yeah. Right before closing time. Yeah. She's out till Monday. So yeah. So chances of her calling us before noon before we have to move. So we and we can't we can't start planning it on Monday. No. Of we what have, we're gonna we have to do we something. We have to game plan yeah. now. So what we will probably do is practice some stuff tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow we'll probably <laughs> just see if the RV will go high enough if to get over it and get in yeah. there. Yeah. That'd be the least invasive way to do it. Exactly. And without messing up with the, the scene of the crime. Exactly. <laughs> Tampering with evidence. <laughs> we don't want to tamper. <laughs> because the adjuster will want to come out and see exactly what, yeah. what it looks like, what went down. So it looks like the, um, where the uh, eight pin connector would go on the back yeah. is where it's impeding the tailgate from, from coming all the way down. down. Yeah. yeah. And I don't want to go like, I probably could just take a hammer and beat that thing down a couple inches to yeah. get the tailgate up. But like I said, I don't want to mess with the crime if scene. we don't have to. Yeah. yeah. I'm just glad you're okay though. Yeah, I'm a little sore because I, luckily, I didn't know he was going to hit me. So I was relaxed when he hit me. Yeah. But after he hit me, I was <laughs> had the stereo. I was like, and I, and I said some words that the dash cam will prove it. Well, you've already seen that. I've already bleeped it out. <laughs> And then he hit me again. So that's when I was tense because I was already, you yeah. know, strong holding the wheel. So I wasn't expecting the second hit. But so the, the bleeping, the first one was a GD. Yeah. And the second one was the F bomb. <laughs> Cause GD, I just got hit and F, what, why, twice. <laughs> That's what I wanted to know. And, and and you get out of the car angry, you know? And you, oh, you're mad. And you're like, want to go and shake him. You're like, what the hell were you thinking? But then when it's a 75-year-old man gets out of the car, you're like, oh, yeah. I can't yell at this man. Thank you to the sponsor of today's video, Active Controls. And you may have seen our video that we did with Active Controls talking about their plug-and-play soft start capacitor. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we're talking about e-bikes. Yes. And e-bikes have become very popular in the RV community because it's like a, another way of, of getting around without having to do a lot of exercise. <laughs> <laughs>
and they have a wide variety of e-bikes starting at under $700. There's several different options, including the step-throughs, cruisers, and foldables for that easy storage. Yeah, so if you're in the market for an e-bike, pop over to Active Controls and look through the website. There's a link in the description so you can go check all those out and we can even save you 5%. Use the promo code WAGS when you check out and that's not just 5% off e-bikes, that's 5% off everything site-wide. Yeah. Well, we were able to get the tailgate down. Yes, thank God. And thanks to our, our new our, friends. Yes. Elizabeth and John yes. who helped us out this morning because I'm still recovering from surgery so I can't, can't be much. like lifting, pounding, like doing a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So if yeah. we were gonna remove any of the tailgate or bumper or anything, I would need somebody to carry that. Yes. Because I can't do it. But we were able to we were able to work he it out. He was able to pry the bumper out Loose. a little bit because it was wedged yeah. at the bottom onto the uh, receiver. Mm -hmm. he, he was able to pull that out and hammer it down a little, just enough for that gate to flip. Yeah, we only had to knock it down about a half inch. Just yeah. enough for it to clear that, that, is it a seven pin or eight pin connector? Either way, mm -hmm. whatever it is, the connector or the electrical port, Yeah. the little uh, cover that flaps down was up and it was precluding the tailgate from coming down. So yeah. now we pounded it down. Oh, you just got to open that. You got to open the cover. Cover to let the, to gate let the tailgate down. down. But and, I'll uh, deal with that. That's fine. Yeah. So uh, and now. Today I was scheduled to wash the rig. You starting to wash it? Yes, I am. <laughs> How are you feeling? I feel great. Yeah. When I woke up, my neck was sore, and I was like, oh, great, I'm gonna yeah. be sore now. But by, before noon, it went away, so maybe it was just the way I was sleeping. It yeah. just didn't help it. But I feel great now, no Good. probls. Keep eating Motrin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when the bumper pushed everything up, it pushed this receiver up too. That's what I'm talking about, the little flap right there. So when we try to open the tailgate, the tailgate would hit that, and it wouldn't let it open. And I don't wanna damage the, the tailgate any further. I mean, it already has a little dent in it, but. So we'll open this up, and then, and it's still gonna hit this plastic part, but it'll it'll bump past that. And that's how, <laughs> that's how the tailgate goes down now. There's some narrow streets at this uh, park that we're coming into right now. And one of the bad things is, is if someone's trying to park their rig, you're just sitting here, you're at the mercy of them. And these people were right behind us at the last campground and they had a hard time hooking up. And now they're backing in and they're backing in on their blind side so i'm sure they're having some some issues that sucks man because you know this guy sees us there's a passing in front of us and then us and i think there's an amazon guy behind us so you know that's adding stress and pressure to this guy because he's like i'm not only can i not, not get into this space i'm holding everyone up but honestly we don't we don't mind i wish that we could relate to him that we're cool just take your time and get in there safely but uh, I know if it was me, I would feel pressure. I would feel like I got to hurry up and get in here. And then yeah. when you hurry, that's when you, that's when you break stuff. So. We got lucky because a lot of these spaces in here are really, really tight. When you get back into like those, those living areas where the uh, long-term livers live. When a scout looks out his window, this is what he sees. So he's got no impediments no obstructions he can see everything that's going on out here i'm sure there's probably some like sandhill cranes that come out here probably, people probably come by here and walk their dogs all the time so uh scout will get plenty of action to be able to see out the back window for the next three days yeah i wanted to mention too uh we did something really fun yesterday yeah we went to the xfl football game yep and i wanted to mention this because i don't think we've mentioned it on the channel yet but yeah. i wanted to mention it because veterans can take advantage of this for sure yes we got our tickets through vettix.com now vettix.com is a website where all you got to do is go on there if you're a veteran you provide them with proof that you were a veteran you send in your dd214 or if you're active duty you they send a copy of your id card you. they verify you and then you can go on their website and get tickets for free lots of things all kinds of stuff we've been to football games Hockey baseball, games. all kinds of sporting events, yeah. concerts, comedy clubs. NASCAR does it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's really cool. Yeah. And you can sort it by state and filter it to where you're at in the country. Mm -hmm. So for us, we've used it several times. We'll leave a link in the description. We're not sponsored by yeah. VetTix, <laughs> but it is a good thing to know we use it for a veterans lot. out there. Yeah. Now, uh, the Orlando Guardians <laughs> last night were playing the San Antonio Brahmas, Brahmas. and Orlando got smashed. <laughs> spanked we're rooting for the guardians the reason we're rooting for the guardians well a you grew up here in orlando yeah. i did high school here in orlando it's kind of home for us but the guardians because yeah. i was a guardian 
yes. in Iraq. That was my call sign, Guardian One, because I worked on a convoy security team and we pulled security for their convoys in and around Baghdad. And so Guardian was our call sign. All yeah. of our all of our trucks were Guardian. Tattooed Guardians. on your leg. Yeah, Guardian One <laughs> tattooed on my leg. So I'm kind of partial to that name too. I couldn't root for them when they were the New York Guardians. Yeah. Because I just can't bring myself to root for any New York team. <laughs> but here's the funny thing that I noticed when we got to the stadium and yeah. we got sat down and the game started. What? So if you watch XFL on TV too, you'll notice you won't notice this because they only sell tickets oh. to the side where the cameras are going to be pointing. Pointing. Yes. To make it look like the stands are more full, because if they sold them all around the bowl, everybody would be more it spread, spread out, out, and it looked like a bunch of empty seats. Yeah, it's not a complete sellout like a regular NFL. Game. No, but on TV. It, it looks, looks like packed. it's full because that's all you see. Yeah. The whole other side of the stadium is completely empty. empty. Where the where the booth is, where they're calling the game and stuff, mm -hmm. there is nobody sitting on that side. Which was, it really sucked because that's where the shade was. That's where, from start <laughs> to finish, that's where the shade was. So we sat in the sun for the first half. I'm like, man, yeah. I'd pay. I'd pay for a ticket to go sit on the shade side, yeah. but it was fun. We still fun. It's our second XFL game. We went to the Houston Roughnecks a couple of years ago. Which... I don't. I haven't looked to see how the Roughnecks are this year so far. Yeah. It's only been a couple weeks into it, but I was partial to them last time. Yeah, so. I think if it, as long as they're not playing Orlando, I think we'll root for. But the they do Roughnecks. play Orlando on my birthday. Yeah, that'll be a rough. So, yeah. <laughs> rough game. But anyway, it was really really fun. Hey, and then um, we're not gonna update you in this video because we haven't even talked to the adjuster about the truck yet or anything like that. So. Yeah. But we will update you as we go along. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to leave a comment oh, I know what you and say. let us know what you think the damage is going to be. So I'll, I'll just so, give you an idea. The tailgate's damaged, the bumper's the bumper. toast, the, the tow the hitch got, receiver got pushed in. Bad. And so, you know, all the sensors, the backup, all that stuff is trash. So leave a comment. <laughs> this let will us be know interesting. I like this. How much you think it's going to cost <laughs> us. And we'll keep you updated. You have no idea I'm about to say this, so don't act too stunned. Okay. But I'm going to say... Whoever is closest to the estimate, oh, no. we will send you a free Wayward Wag shirt. Yeah, let's do it. Because uh, I'm dying to know how good people are at guessing these things. I'm terrible at it. Yeah, leave so, a comment. You could win a shirt. Yeah. How about that? That's a good deal. <laughs> All right. And so from here, we're here three days. And from here, we're leaving to go to the Southern Alliance Rally in Auburndale, Florida at Margaritaville. Can't wait for that. Yes. We'll take you along for that. So stick around. You got to stick around for a couple videos before you find out the, <laughs> the total in the truck to see how close you were. It but gonna uh, cool. it's going to be interesting. Yeah. And Leslie's feeling much better, by the way. Yes. I, I was only sore for that, that first 24 hours, really. Yeah. But I washed the rig, <laughs> washed the truck. I'm good. Cool. Hey, stick around for a few seconds. We're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.